welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Anne. i am a kenyan who has been living in saudi arabia for two years but now is about to go home and i was doing content related to domestic work which i've been doing for two years and finally the day is here i finished my contract almost two months ago and I haven't been able to travel, but I thank God today is my day. I have mixed emotions because it's been a long journey. I have cried, I've laughed, I can't deny. I've met new people, I've learned new things. So yeah, I'm just having a roller coaster of emotions, but it's gonna be York. It's currently 3 p.m. 3 p.m. of 6th August 2021 and I will be leaving in the next one hour. So I just want to go downstairs and um, have something to eat. This mama prepared a meal for me so that I can have a meal before I go. So I'm just going to go downstairs and eat because yo I'm gonna be traveling overnight from Hafar Albatian to Damam City that is where I'll board my flight tomorrow morning so guys stay tuned there'll be three parts of my of my journey back home because I'm literally traveling for like three days because i'm traveling today overnight but i'll board tomorrow at 12 and then after boarding i'll 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 have a layover in egypt cairo where i'll stay up until uh, 10 pm before i proceed to kenya so i'll just do it in three parts to make it just easy so that you don't have to wait for long so guys i'm just gonna go downstairs or i'm gonna show you what i'm wearing i'm wearing a very light outfit because with this weather and um with this weather and this uh, traveling and i'm just going very light so i'm just gonna show you the, my outfit and then go downstairs before i show you my outfit i've gone in with this simple gel laid hair because i have no other option i just hope it will behave because uh, this is all i can do for now when we get to Kenya, we will make our hairs well, so... everything that I've lost so learn from me all this mostly they are clothes I used to wear when I was here and clothes that I came with from Kenya I didn't want to throw them away because all this was excess killer but how should we yeah so um, I guess now I was stressed because I they just talked to me they told me if you find a Kenyan that you're going the same route with they can help you carry the bag but guys that's just not me because even myself I can't I can't um, agree to carry someone's luggage because I don't know what is in there so I just had to part with them it's okay it's okay but I've saved money um most and mostly they are food items and uh, it's okay because what could i have done yeah so the plane is carrying 23 23 and um seven uh, and eight kilos so at as at now everything is set uh, 
this is my handbag. It has quite a handful of items. And this is a... Uh, it's just food and stuff. So what actually happened, these Arabs are very bad people because they knew I was traveling but they gave me, they went, bought uh, some food items like dates, what, biscuits. I had an excess of six kilos but they had given me like um, 300 real the previous day. They, request, they said that I should um, buy, th that I should pay for the excess luggage but I thought it twice to save the money and throw the food away. Actually I gave it out at the office. Well at the office they will uh, wrap your bags as you can see on that uh, video and you will part with um, 25 reals for everything for like packing and labeling like that. It's a good way because uh, you know how much kilo you're carrying and you're not carrying in excess. So that was really nice. So fast forward, we boarded the bus. It was quite packed, but somehow I felt so afraid because we were just two girls. The others were men. We were like in a minibus that carried almost 50 people. So we traveled through the night and at some point I was so scared the car kept breaking down. Actually it broke down a hoping five times. Yes, it kept breaking down for five times between Hafar, Abatian and Damam city. So we kept traveling. I was having so much emotions and rem remember all this while my bosses didn't call to inquire whether I had begun my journey, how I was doing. Actually, guys, I felt so bad. I was so angry because I kept imagining what if something bad happens to me when I'm traveling, you know, these are men and you know, you know. But we thank God we arrived safely at the airport without any injuries, but we traveled for so long a journey that was supposed to be of eight hours took us so long but yeah finally we arrived at we arrived safely so guys along the way we stopped somewhere at a restaurant and uh, we were told every everyone on the bus alighted and we had we were supposed to eat food so initially we thought that the food had been paid all inclusive like in the transport but it turned out that we were the ones who were to pay uh, the food cost uh, 21 reals it was rice and chicken the normal girl rice and chicken you know but I, I, I didn't like, um, like once we walked in the restaurants, you know the way like um, women have their part and men have their part. So when we went there, um, that waiter was so rude and he kept like uh, asking us to order. Can you order, order quickly? We are about to leave. And at some point, Point I got so angry he didn't give us a chance to order what we wanted which was not a very nice thing but all in all we started eating the food but somewhere along the way the food I, I started noticing that the food was somehow off it was it wasn't good food but I couldn't talk because my fellow that Bangladesh girl kept digging in and I thought maybe it's because I haven't eaten in a long time, maybe that is why the food is tasting badly. But somewhere along the way, I couldn't hold myself together and I had to ask her, is there anything wrong with this food? She kept saying, yes, <laughs> there's something wrong with the food, but she kept eating it.
So guys, yeah. we came here and there is this very rude waiter. I don't know what I can say. Before I started recording, we had an argument because he's like, bring the money, bring the money, do this, do this, do this, do this. So I told him straight to his face, you, we are not, you are not helping us. We are giving you the money. So stop like uh, this uh, hurrying, hurrying. So now I went to tell him that this rice is not good. And I told him in front of the people so that they can hear. So I'm waiting for him. We paid the whole 21 real for this nonsense. Yes, Bari. Ruz Bahari Lazam Rehaiji. Ruzba, La, and the mazak. Chaval say, I have a Yapasena Karamujana de Kau. May Rose Besta, may I Niani Hotel Kara? Abna, you say, Mavikolos, Lesh, Leshada Karban, Ishada, Lesh, Ishada, Ishada, Ishakal, Ishakal, eh, Shof, Kulona for a Kal, Shof, Ronta, Kalamua, Kere Hakar, Mafikuis, Mafik, Ada Ruz, Bahari, Bahari Ruz are the same same other. Lesh Mafikalam, eh, Jib, Ruz Bahari, Ruz Bahari, Lazam Reha. Why are you rude? That is my question. Eh, no, you are very rude. Anakalam, you are very rude. Mafi English, Harami, Hada Haram, Harami. She'll follow Kulu Hada Joan, she'll follow Shella. Harami, Harami. I shall now all mafia jib yellow jib to pull a school of slash hither. A people about them pull us at him. Harami. Shoot, I have a horma, but then so that was it. And that was it. And he went and he said he would give us back the money. Yella, Rosy, are we should say we. And a Kalam had a driver. Yeah. Kalam, Jeep for loose, Mafia It is some few minutes to five, and we've just arrived at the Mam International Airport, Hada King Fahad. And apparently, we, I have to wait for another almost six hours before I board. And um, yeah, I have a new friend from Bangladesh. She is very lovely. She has kept me company all through. And she will also travel tomorrow at around the same time. So we are going to keep each other company. 
so I'm gonna leave you at this point um, I'll see you in the next one and so when we went there they measure your kilos and they tape it as you have seen but you have to part with 20 reals and um, I also lost some three kilos in the airport um, it's okay it was food items and stuff but someone I saw someone in the comment asking you have four bags what what the big bag had 23 kilos the medium bag had 15 kilos and I had another bag so the um, so this bag has been taped with the other bag that you are seeing and this is my hand luggage so you get so yeah um, the journey yeah, manze it was tough it was hot the car kept breaking down but yeah let's so guys since we did we didn't eat at the at the other place i couldn't hold my hunger so i've uh, ordered this uh, food from mcdonald's also feel uh, low on energy so instead of taking cola i'm gonna take this coffee so let's dig so I've already changed my money into dollars and now I'm um, going back. After taking the coffee I felt nice and I had some cash on me. So I had to go and exchange uh, into a common currency. Um, I exchanged them into US dollars. So that even if I need something in Egypt I won't get stranded. So um, yeah, I'm gonna end this one here. Um, let's meet when I'm checking in. <sighs> I want to edit this video right now so that uh, I post it before I leave at 12, 12 p.m. today. So guys, stay safe and thank you so much for all the good messages of goodwill you sent me. I saw them and guys i really appreciate everything everyone who commented and uh, wished me luck thank you so much may god bless you so guys i'm gonna end it here but um i'll see you when i'm checking in and stuff and when i'm in the other side there up to when i reach cairo so take care god bless i love you all since we did we didn't eat at the at the other place i couldn't hold my hunger so i've uh, ordered this uh, food from mcdonald's also feel uh, low on energy so instead of taking cola i'm gonna take this coffee so let's dig so this is me boarding um it's Time to head to Egypt, so let's meet on the other side. Kindly subscribe, like, share, comment, and stay tuned for part two. Thank you, guys. <laughs>